how was it recreating this model? Were, were there plans available or did you have to really go like survey stuff or like maybe was, watch the movie a million times? Well, a bit of, but there was bits. There were bits of drawings. They had some stuff in the archive, um, mm. which we weren't allowed to touch or take out. We had to photograph it. and But, but they were super fragile and, and very faded and it, but they gave us a steer and i think yeah. one one thing we, the key thing actually which helped us was we figured out that the model was a pretty accurate copy of of east corinth um it, it they'd moved a few buildings around but it was pretty accurate so once we we surveyed all the buildings in east corinth we could then just scale them down to the model and then figure it out like that so we weren't sort of completely making it up but um but we did have to watch the film a lot and um, we had a, an art director in set deck called Ian Bunting, and that was his job. And he, you know, he was obsessive to the point of madness about, he would regularly come at me with another picture that he'd found on the internet or another screen grab that he'd got. It's like, I found this bit, we haven't got this. I was like, okay, yep, yeah, no, good. <laughs> you, you go away and do that, that's brilliant. But it it took it took forever and it took, because it had to be handmade. You couldn't yeah. really get around the fact that you were going to be seeing it, like, like the images there, super close up. Yeah. Um, and if it was 3D printed or whatever, it would just look like it. You know, it didn't it didn't really work like that. So it was all the model makers built it, you know, absolutely by hand with balsa wood and plastic card and, you know, and, and bits from other railways because it is to a scale of a model railway. Um, so we could use bits and pieces, but most of it was handmade. Even the trees were handmade, but it took him about 12 weeks to finish it. Wow. All. Wow. But it was great. I mean, again, it's the sort of thing this film's about. You know, it's about models and, yeah. you know, that, and and you know the cast and Tim and everybody were just thrilled with it. You know, they were you, everyone with big smiles on their face when they came in to see it the first time. So, oh, I'm sure. I I mean, that must have been so exciting to have Michael and Winona come back onto these sets. I mean, and Catherine, like everyone to come back onto these sets. Were they just blown away? Were they just in awe? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was. It was. From my point of view, it was kind of terrifying because they, all they had to do was walk on and go, "Well, this isn't right." Remember, <laughs> we're actors, <laughs> and you'd be be horrified. But I think, you know, we we gone to such lengths to make sure it was as accurate as we could, um, yeah. you know, and we really slaved over it. You know, like the net curtains in the background, we had custom yeah, the curtains. Made, I mean, you know, every, everything was 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 agonized over. So we really hoped they'd walk on and and you know feel like they were back where where they started it and and as, as far as i know they all did you know winona was was blown away by it and tim was thrilled by it so um yes i think i think we did our job okay on those sets particularly because they were they were the ones that i was concerned about the most because not only you know were, were we going to have the original cast on it and tim but of course you know there's so many fans out there that are going to yeah free frame this movie and and tear us to bits if it wasn't right <laughs> so. that's to me like like i oh i wish they were in like the dad's office more or like you know i yeah. almost wish there was more story in the house of things we had seen or like maybe sitting at the dinner table like things that reminisce but i also know it it's never going to be the same it's never no, be the same. i mean the, so the the dad's office i mean that was a, a one of the ones i was sort of not sad about because you never sad about it but but it, we'd, we'd agonized over that set particularly and it was a full 360 set and it it did look exactly the same we'd We'd found yeah. the right furniture. We'd really gone to town it. And actually there was like a tiny little scene in it in the end and it was too short. <laughs> so I you know. never ignore it. But I, it was good. It was a good set. I was pleased with that one. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. And that was I one think... of the ones, that, those horrible sets that sit on the schedule and just keep getting punted down. You know, oh. it's going to be Tuesday afternoon. Oh, it's going to be next week. Oh, actually we, we, we need to change it. So it was like, you know, it sat there for sort of six weeks before anyone came and gave it some love, but <laughs> never mind. <laughs> 